Hi, Ron Kerr with Houston Seismic talking about lateral velocity changes and how that can be an issue in time migration but less of an issue in depth migration. Of course, assuming you're doing the depth migration correctly. Two models here at the top. On the top left is a lateral velocity change where we go from normal to something faster indicated by this red fast triangle. Top right is the opposite of that. We have a slow velocity anomaly indicated by this V slow blue oval. So if we are imaging this in time we will get a velocity pull up such as here for the base reflector and the base of the event here. Why? Because it takes less time to travel through this event, this distance if I'm going fast compared to an equivalent distance over here if I'm going slower. So since I take less time going through this here, everything gets pulled up over here relative to over here. Similarly on the right where it takes longer to go through this anomaly compared to an equal distance on this side, things get sagged down and pulled down. So now our ref base reflector is what's called a velocity sag because it takes longer to travel through here. Now if we correct for those in depth migration we get the two events at the bottom. By plugging in the correct velocities everywhere we would correctly model the base of that event and that reflector. The oval event here on the bottom right and the base of that reflector. Now, Depth migration works great but it's hard to know the velocities accurately. There are, are a lot of ways to try to get those velocities. If you need more uh, seismic consulting or any training work, please send me an email, ron.kerr at houstonseismic.com. Thank you very much.